So I'm pretty psyched for this game that's coming out, Sea of Thieves. I signed up for the alpha in late 2016 once it was announced and waited a whole year to be able to play it. And with the alpha gone and the beta coming up and once the beta is done, I made this video to kind of sum up what you can do while the game is not available to play. But I signed a non-disclosure agreement that does not allow me to share anything from the alpha or even let my friends watch me play it in my living room. So I'm going to have to talk about what's public knowledge and that's, that's kind of cool. So, while waiting for the beta later this month, and the release at the end of March, there's other ways to scratch that pirate itch that we all have, if you're watching this video. Recently, I, I watched the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie on Netflix, and it actually made it worse, so do not do that. I decided to reinstall a game that came with my Xbox One in 2015, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag has a lot of similar gameplay mechanics, like being able to captain the pirate ship and steering it, evading sharks while underwater, finding buried treasure, fighting enemies with sword plate pistols, boarding other ships and singing on them, and all that kind of fun stuff. But of course, there are many differences with these, and to avoid simply using other people's footage of a few thieves, since I can't even record my own, I will put some black flag footage up continuously throughout the whole video. But once that beta is here on the 24th, I'll definitely going to be recording that, and when one of the games out, I'll be doing videos on that, hopefully. But that's a whole reason for this video. Black Flag allows you to do a lot of what Sea of Thieves offers, but it's only on a single player level, and it has a lot more morbid options. Rare gears their games to more, uh, more child-friendly audience, which is really awesome if you have kids or nieces or nephews or younger siblings or whatnot in your house and you want to play around them. The style is realistic, yet cartoonish, and oh my god, once you see the C in the game, you'll see it. <laughs> I almost can't even say that. Anyways, if you own Black Flag, it'll give you a nice taste of what we're to offer, or you can go buy it probably on sale at like GameStop or EB Games or wherever you gotta go. It's old, but it has some great ship-to-ship -ship gameplay. The graphics still hold up in my opinion, and the post-game open world is pretty enjoyable, especially when you unlock some of the cheats through completing challenges. There's also this one mini game called Nine Men's Morse that can be fun if you play it on a lower difficulty because the extreme difficulties AI is just brutal. Get, you want to break a controller. And I'm not sure if there are games like this in Sea of Thieves. There's a few others, there's Checkers and another one I can't remember off the top of my head. Another thing that I believe will not be offered in the game is harpooning sea creatures. Now, I know that the Kraken was announced, and they talked about it a lot for Sea of Thieves, but what Black Flag has to offer is it's more brutal, and you can skin other wild animals, which you go and hunt down, like monkeys, uh, big cats like jaguars, and crocodiles, and stuff like that. And it might be something you can only do in Black Flag. But, if you've played the alpha of Sea of Thieves, or watched too many YouTube videos about it, Black Flag does definitely not do the justice that Sea of Thieves deserves. There's so much more to do on such a greater scale, and it's all multiplayer, while Black Flag is all single player in their campaign. And this is this game is just gonna be amazing. I can't wait for this game out, and then maybe the one of the first games I've pre-ordered uh, that I pre-ordered since the original Skyrim came out uh, November 11th, 2011. Because if you didn't know, the beta for this is closed and only available to players who have pre-ordered the game. Which, like many closed betas in the past that I've noticed, they'll probably come open to all players or something very close to the end of it or they'll extend it a day or two and make it public, but that's just speculation. I know they've done that with a lot of other betas in the past, and uh, a lot of other games that they kind of feel like everybody should enjoy and shouldn't just, just be closed. And from what it seems like, Rare is a really good company, and they might do that. Um, I, I don't know if i put money on it, but it, I feel like it would be good. Anyway, so that's what my how my ideas are for how to get rid of that pirate, that pirate itch, if you are super into Sea of Thieves right now, because I know I am after playing the alpha, and I cannot wait for this game, like I said, to come out. Also, if you made it this far in the video, why don't you, you know, watch one of my montages, because I get no views on those for some reason, even though, you know, you know I guess it's because it's a montage, nobody watches those in 2018. <laughs>